Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another home project. So today I am finally sharing with you my fabulous Cricut storage shelf. I love this piece. It is kind of a hard angle of the room to um, film and to share with you besides just like getting down on the floor. But essentially when I moved into this house over a year ago now, um, I knew in my craft room, a storage shelf for my Cricut was one of the most important pieces of the craft room besides my desk because my Cricut is my most used tool. Let's just face it, it is. And I have a few of them now. I have my Cricut Maker. I have two Explore Air 2s. I have my Maker 3. I have one, two, three easy presses, all of my tips and I have my make machines down at the bottom. So I have a few machines that I needed to store um, and I needed a shelf that would be able to do all of that while still being movable. And I thought about getting a small metal um, cart like shelf because I've seen quite a few of those on Pinterest and I liked them, but it didn't have that pretty furniture piece kind of feeling my desk, I actually found on Facebook Marketplace and it was hand carved in Spain. Like, I'm gonna show you this side of it eventually. It had a lot of wear and tear, so I did have to paint it and it's beautiful, but I needed this piece that was going right next to my desk to reflect that kind of feeling because a metal industrial cart next to my pretty hand carved Spanish desk would not quite be the feeling that I was going for. So I found this cart and I keep calling it a cart because I put wheels on it. It's a storage shelf. It's a console table. I found this console table. I put wheels on the bottom of it and I made it into a Cricut storage shelf. And whether you like this particular shelf or a different one, you can do the same thing. So I'm going to show you how I built it right out of the box. I'm going to show you how I organized it. I'm going to show you how I add a wheels. I think I have that on video. If not, honestly, it came pre-drilled for, um, like felt feet and the, the wheels just screw right in. So I'm going to show you the whole thing, but essentially this is it. This is my storage shelf. It's perfect. It is on wheels so I can easily pull it out and use my Cricut machines directly on the shelf. Because of course, if you have a Cricut machine, you know that you need 12 inches in front and behind of your machine for it to cut properly. Sorry, my garland fell. It's gonna go on top of the pegboard so it's not meant to be there, but it's cute enough right now. So either way, this is a perfect solution for my pieces, I can pull it right up next to my desk when I need a larger work surface and I can work directly on the storage shelf. So if this is all of the video that you need to watch, you see the cart, you can go make it. Great, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to watch all of the parts of me putting it together and styling it, then that is coming up. Let's get started.
All right, that's it. Like I said, it's very easy. I struggle with whether to show you putting it together or not because it's really just following the instructions. But at the end of the day, I find videos that have all the information helpful. So I thought I would put it out there and if you needed it, it was there. Either way, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you do a similar project, if you buy the same Cricut storage shelf, let me know. Send me a picture. I want to see. Um, either way, I will be back next week with more Cricut projects, more home projects, more resin projects, and I hope you will be back to watch with me. Bye, y'all. See you later. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Send this to your mom. She might need it. I don't know. Maybe your mom doesn't have a Cricut. <laughs>